Hello guys, today I want to show you a few features from new release Laravel 8.55. And how do I know about those things? My source is laravelshift.com. Being a customer, I receive a newsletter every week from JMac, the author of Laravel Shift with all the features listed what was released this week. And I don't find that concise information anywhere else except for Laravel Shift. I'm not promoting Laravel Shift here, but I just want to thank the author to provide that every week. So I want to show you two new features which were particularly interesting to me. It's with trashed on routes with model bindings and rule one for conditional validation. So. The first thing is with trashed on routes and here's the example from Taylor. So if you use route model binding like this in your route, you can add with trashed so it would include the soft deleted record. So deleted add is not null means it's soft deleted, but with trashed will actually include and show that. So for example, in the database, I have this demo project with admin user, which is deleted. But if I have that in my routes as user controller show and that user controller just returns the response JSON user. If I don't add with trashed, I get just 404 not found with URL users one. But if I add with trashed, let's do it. So uncomment that line with trash like this, I refresh the page and I get the JSON returned. So you can specify with trashed directly in routes without changing your controller. And this actually works with callback function as well. So even if you don't have a controller, if you have something like function user user, something like this, return user even without JSON, with trashed, we refresh and we still get that JSON. If we don't have with trashed here again, we should get 404 not found. So this is a small change, but pretty convenient to specify that with routes directly. And another pretty small change, but really important and celebrated by quite a lot of community users is rule one. So quite often, well, not that often, but sometimes we have the validation rule depending on other conditions, maybe on other fields or something. So for example, if some checkbox is checked, then we need to add validation rule to some other field. And until now, we were doing that in a pretty complex way. So if we go to Laravel validation official documentation, conditionally adding rules, there were exclude if or something like required if some rules with if. Also, there was a rule called sometimes, meaning that it's validated only when that field is present. But still, it's about the same field. So this is about one field sometimes and exclude unless or exclude if is about two fields related to each other. So what should you do if you have more complicated logic? If we scroll down, there's complex conditional validation section in the documentation and it suggests to extend the validator with sometimes with adding more conditions to this, which is pretty complex. It was pretty complex until now. Now you can have a condition with rule one. And if we scroll down, there is one more example from another user from Bon Royage. For example, if the input game is games is bigger than 100, then that field is required. So another field is required. So from now from 855, you don't have to extend the validator or do some bigger magic rule when is your friend. And that's it, two small features that I wanted to present to you in Laravel 855. So despite the fact that Laravel 9 is quite far away, Every week they release new versions, subversions with something new to introduce from the community, from Taylor himself. So check out my YouTube channel, Laravel News and official Laravel Twitter and various other sources for news on new Laravel versions and new additions. Also check out my channel for daily videos. It's not only about news, but it's daily tips, tricks, reviews of packages, code reviews, stuff like that. So subscribe to my channel to get daily videos and you can support my mission of putting out daily videos by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now from myself and my team, admin panel generator, live wire kit set of components and 20 courses on my teachable platform. See you guys in other videos.